Hi. Today we'll be exploring doing an in-place upgrade of Windows Server 2016 to Windows Server 2019 preview build 17693 639. Maybe mixing the numbers up there. Uh, yeah, preview build 17639. Got it that time. Nailed it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So what we have here, um, as I mentioned, we're on a Windows Server 2016 data center server. Um, this server um, currently has um, file and print services roles installed on it. And so we'll be attempting to do an in-place upgrade to Windows Server 2019. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've already mounted the ISO into the system. So um, we'll go ahead and launch Windows Explorer. And then we'll just go ahead and jump over to the DVD drive. You know, like it's thinking about it a little bit. Like double clicking it will go ahead and launch the setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize some of these windows down. Just go ahead, go ahead and getting ready. All right, so now I'm getting prompted, like if I wanna go and download and install updates, it is recommended. Um, as far as this, I'm, I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and try, uh, to attempt to do the in-place upgrade without any additional downloads and just leveraging whatever is on the ISO um, out of the box. Um, other thing you can do is if you wanna send some telemetry data over to Microsoft um, to help improve the installation process so they get notification of, of various different errors and, and logs and, and experiences and that you experience. Um, you can check this box here to, to help send that data over. Um, for the purpose of this, I'm not going to do that. I'll go ahead and uncheck that and go ahead and click next. And let's go ahead and see what happens here. So it says we're getting a few things ready. So I was thinking about it. So now it's asking for a product key. Um, so this is assuming this is the product key for Windows Server 2019 that it's asking. So um, um, for these preview releases that, that are out, uh, Microsoft do publish uh, keys for anyone to use um, if you're testing these private preview or public preview releases. So let me go ahead and jump over to screen so I can get my key and yeah, where I have that at let me save it somewhere there we go all right so for uh, for the purpose of this as I mentioned I'm going to be I'm on, currently on the 2016 data center edition so I'm going to put in the key for the 2019 preview data center edition so let's go ahead and start typing this in here And, and as I mentioned, like this key isn't like unique to me or, or or anything like that. This is a key that's freely available for anyone to use that's going to be using a preview release of Windows Server 2019. And, and as far as these keys, I'm um, thing to be aware of that these bills do expire. Um, so they have, a, I believe it expires sometime in July. Um, so by that time, you're expected to upgrade to whatever the latest or latest preview release that's available at the time. So uh, if you're gonna be trying this out, definitely don't do it on any system that has like really important data or anything like that on it. You wanna just do this like in a test or a lab environment. So I um, look like it, it accepted that key. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. So, um, oh, so this is kind of interesting. So um, despite the fact that I'm on a Windows Server 2016 with the desktop experience, uh, apparently this upgrade process gives you an option to choose between the core or the desktop experience. So that I didn't expect, um, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and remain with the desktop experience. And I'm gonna go ahead and say next. So it's prompting me about this is pre-release software. I'm going to accept the license term. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept that. Choose what to keep. So it's giving me an option to keep personal files and apps or I can choose to keep nothing and kind of start over from scratch. I'm gonna go ahead and allow it to keep personal files and apps. Go click next. And I'm assuming this step is maybe doing some more pre-checks to see if there's any like known software that it knows that's not, in, that's not compatible or if there are certain roles that may need additional features or a different additional prep work or um, 
to do a successful migration. I'm, I'm assuming that's what this is doing in the background. It's making those type of checks. And and, and, and as I mentioned, um, in my environment, I only have two roles installed in the server. File and file and print server are, are the main roles of this server. And now it's giving me some options to let, let me know that, hey, server upgrades are not recommended. Um, for best results, do a clean install. And it's just asking me to confirm that I'm, a, I'm aware of this, um, this um, recommendation. So I'm going to go ahead and click confirm. And the bill you are trying to install is flight signs. Can you install and enable flight signing? So I don't really know exactly what that means, but I'm going to go ahead and click Enable um, since it seems like it's required for me to continue. And it looks like it's ready to go. So it's going to install Windows Server Data Center Desktop Experience. It's going to keep my personal files and apps. And we've enabled whatever that flight signing um, feature is. So go ahead and hit Install. And... Not sure what happened, like everything went away after I hit install, so I don't know if something else is going to pop up here. Okay, there we go. Okay, just took a few seconds there for something else to pop up. So it looks like we're, we're off to the races. So the installation or upgrade process is in progress, so we'll give this um, a few minutes to complete, and then we'll check in and see if we've been successful or not, or if it ends up rolling the changes back if it runs into some type of critical unresolvable error so like we're progressing along we're about at two percent so three percent is progressing and we'll we'll check back in a minute So the installation upgrade is still carrying along. So it's, it's done a whole bunch of reboots up to this point. Um, it's, it's, um, so it's still going. So this is quite a lengthy process, at least on my server. Um, but we'll, we'll continue waiting and see what the results are after um, this fully completes. So after a pretty lengthy installation process, um, several reboots and a lot of updates and things, um, we're back at a login prompt. So I'm going to go ahead and log back into this system and see if we're now on Windows Server 2019 or did it revert or do something weird. So let's go ahead and log in here, see what we have. Like it's sitting on a black screen here, so like it's thinking about something. So it's looking like we've had a successful upgrade here. So we're seeing down here at the bottom here, Windows Server Data Center Evaluation Bill 17639. Um, we were previously on Windows Server 2016 um, Data Center, so like we have a successful upgrade. And um, as you see, the, the interface has changed very, very so slightly. So this icon here looks a little bit different than it did in 2016. So it says Task View when you hover over it. Um, so that's a little looks a little bit different like they changed the graphic style uh, a tiny bit compared to what it looked like on 2016 or on um, windows 10 it looks a tiny bit different so it like we're getting server manager is is starting to launch so once that comes up that'll just kind of verify and confirm everything is okay 
um, but so far we're, we're looking good. Um, so uh, I have clicked that task view. So um, this is kind of the task view from the um, server perspective. So use your PC more to see your activities here. So I can make new desktops. Similar similar features that you get like on Windows 10. So that's kind of kind of cool. Um, but go, let's go ahead and jump back over to the server manager. All right, and let's jump over to local server. All right, so look, we're we're all good. We're up and running. Um, down here on the operating system version, you see it just says Windows Server Data Center. It doesn't say like 2019 or anything there. Um, but we we are indeed in fact on Windows Server 2019 now um the bill 17639 so um thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one